Welcome to the Mythos Mystery Society presents The Cracked and Crooked Mance, a Tales of the Loop adventure using a Call of Cthulhu role-playing thing that used to be set in the 20s, but now it's set in the 90s, and I kind of rewrote it from scratch. Scratch. <laughs> scratch. 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 <laughs> uh, with us, I have Ty. Are, are you, oh, okay. <laughs> Look at how spooky Hello. he is. I, also... I, I am playing uh, Dax McMillan, the bully. Ooh. And then we're going to throw it to Mike. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot my character. Hey, y'all. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Marky Mark Walborn, and uh, I'm a hick. <laughs> then we'll throw it over to Chris. Uh, my name is Chris. I'm playing uh, Kenny Kenshin Smith, and my uh, persona, I'm just a weird anime kid. Over to Tom. 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 It's <laughs> terrifying. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, the kid like... that eats the whole cake from I'm the scared of myself. <laughs> 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 this is too much. <laughs> I'm Tom, and I'm playing Augie Nolds. I'm like the skater boy from Los Angeles. Alrighty. And that's not my voice. I just did that for now. <laughs> for now. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so uh, before we start really quick, I wanted to uh, say something, because it's technically the one-year anniversary of the Mythos Mystery Society. Um, not hey, that, like... Lachaim. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, we started this about a year ago when I ran The Haunting, and then from there we've run... Uh, I have some stats here. We now have eight members. We've run 11 one-shot scenarios. We've used five different RPG engines, and we're about to add one more because I'm running Tales from the Loop tonight. Uh, we have 76 YouTube videos with 20 YouTube subscribers, which is nothing, but that's a lot of videos. Um, we have 39 podcast episodes, and I can't tell you how many people are subscribed to that because it's an unknown number and they don't tell you. <laughs> uh, we now have a Twitch channel with 17 followers. Hello, everybody. Uh, and we've made 39 playable characters and killed 8 of them, which is actually a pretty good track record, considering they're Are all- Are 7 of them mine? <laughs> yeah, I, I want to say, like, 2 of them at least, because Lewis and, uh, uh... No, Lewis, Stanley, and, uh, the, guy, the girl from, oh, fuck, uh, that, that doesn't even include Stanley. I forgot about Stanley. <laughs> Sad. R.I.P. Uh, so that's 9 characters, then. <laughs> But yeah, we've killed nine of them, uh, and I've sold six items on my store, but I've also bought four items for my store. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some, Dave. Yeah, no, it's cool. I'm not... <laughs> I made it for funsies. I didn't make it for a profit or anything. <laughs> just... But yeah, no, so it's our birthday. Halloween. Uh, yeah. We're killing exactly three nipples. <laughs> and never been kicked off of Twitch. And I'm wearing uh, my uh, Cthulhu sweater in the, in the theme of the night <laughs> so yeah with that all said uh let's get this a uh, train a uh, running hang on one second i gotta get it up i'm wearing my oh. cthulhu thong which maybe you'll see later <laughs> depending on how things go down we open at about 11 p.m on a friday it's dark outside made eerie by the still october fall the dead leaves rustle ominously as the wind picks up in the dead silence inside of an office building somewhere lit only by the fluorescent bulbs crisscrossing the ceiling. We find an older man at a desk. He's reading something on his computer, smoking a cigarette as he types up a document. When suddenly an old manila envelope lands on his desk. He looks to the envelope, then looks up to the person who put it there. With his cigarette still in his mouth, he says, No shit. His colleague says, Yeah, it's been reopened. Turns out that shipment never arrived. Really? We're just learning of this now? The man in the chair says, leaning back with a smoky sigh. So expedite it. I have, but it will still be a day or two. Well, shit. Don't worry, the colleague says. The place has been around for more than 90 years, and there haven't been any more incidents since we checked on it a month ago. No one has gone there in years. I doubt people even remember it still exists. It's waited this long. What's the worst that can happen over the course of a weekend? Chapter 1 we cut to earlier that day to Bennigan's High School in Prosper Cove. The school day is just beginning. The sky is blue and the ground is covered in an orange and red thanks to the autumn deaths of the trees. 
we find ourselves in Mr. Manstein's English class. On the blackboard are notes the students recognize. They're studying the flowers of Algernon. But also there's a new note written in big letters. Please welcome Augie Nolds from L.A. Ty, tell me about Dax McMillan. What's he wearing and what's he doing right now in this class? Dax McMillan is wearing a jean jacket with a jean vest over it. Um, he is paying very close attention and taking very astute notes. He's got long, wavy brown hair. Nice. And Chris, you are also in this class. Tell me about Kenny Smith and what he's wearing and what he's doing right now. Kenshin Smith is wearing his baseball cap or taking it off during school, <laughs> wearing his Dragon Ball Z sweatshirt proud. It gets a little cold because he's a little scrawny, so he wears his flannel over, and he's sitting and he's drawing uh, Super Saiyan Goku in his notebook over and over again in different muscular poses. <laughs> All right. So as the students start to take their seats because the class is just beginning, Mr. Manstein stands up and announces to the class, All right, kids. We got some fresh blood coming in today. Please give a warm, prosper cove welcome to the new kid from L.A., Augie Nolds. And he opens the door to the hallway to let this new recruit into the room. Ushering him to the front of the class, Mr. Manstein says, Go ahead and tell them about yourself, Augie. So, like, uh, from Los Angeles, you know, we, uh, we shred in Los Angeles. I don't think anyone shreds here. I've been here for, like, 24 hours. I haven't seen one shred. What does that even mean, Hollywood? <laughs> what does it I mean? It. What's I shredding? Hate I hate it here immediately. <laughs> I shred. I'm sure I shred. <laughs> I don't think you shred. Shut up, Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl, you don't shred. They call me Shreddle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm Augie. My, my friends back in Dogtown call me Doggy Augie, and uh, I can do a sick kickflip. It's uh, probably the coolest thing you've ever seen, and uh, that's about it, man. <laughs> All right, take your that's seat. All you need to know about Doggy Augie. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, and with that, the day continues. It's now getting close to 3 p.m., you can feel the restless teens inside waiting for the final bell to ring so they can go out and enjoy this beautiful autumn weekend. Inside Mrs. O'Neill's history classroom, the teacher is just starting to assign homework for the evening. Now class, this is important. Your assignment, due Monday, is to come up with a presentation based on a local historical figure. I'll be putting you in assigned groups and giving you your historical figure to study. You could do a short play or a video. Get creative with it, kids. And she goes down the aisles, calling groups of kids together, until finally she gets to you. Augie Nolds, was it? Let's see, let's pair you with... Dax McMillan and Kenny. You're in the group together. And your assignment is... Lawrence Coswell. He was an expedition chronicler in the 1900s. Hey, teach! Teach! The name's Kenshin, alright? Yeah. Can I get a new... Can I get two new partners? <laughs> Please. No, no, everybody else is already, uh... Already been put together, so it just comes down to you three. Teach, you, 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 Dax, you're good at you, you're good in class. You can help. Uh, you can help the new kid out. You know. No, he's gonna bring me down. He's gonna bring my GPA down. Well, look at him. Think of he it. He says words like shred. <laughs> think of it more like uh, an extracurricular to help out uh, uh, someone someone new to our community. And that will I will I get. Extra credit. <laughs> she goes to say no, but she sees the intense look <laughs> on your eyes. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, all right. Oh yeah, we all get extra credit. Yeah. <laughs> she looks at Kenshin <laughs> making a fatal mistake. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Great, because my GPA is awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're proud of that. <laughs> Alrighty, hang on one Because I spent all my allowance importing anime VHS tapes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Augie. You're in a group with us. Me and Dax. I'll be your senpai. It'll be great. Uh, I, I, am, I am thrilled beyond belief that <laughs> I have to stand next to you, Nears. We call people Nears. <laughs> 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 Is that <laughs> Mrs. O'Neill kind of looks at, at the other kids? Is, should I 
does he need to be in trouble for that word? Is that a bad word? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, your your figure is Lawrence Coswell, and like I said, you can uh, you can make a video or you can put on a short play, whatever you guys want to do. Just get creative with it. Um, she sounds hot. <laughs> uh, Mrs. O'Neill looks to the clock. It's just about to hit three p.m. She turns back to her class and ends it on the same note she always does. And remember, class, what's the magical word you say to drugs? Yeah, man. <laughs> no! Only if we're shredding, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's funny is, I said, go with whatever they give you, because it's sort of up in the air at the end of Reefer Madness anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, the bell rings, and there's a rush of students as they all escape the confines of their classes. You are now free to leave. Thank God. <laughs> Throw on my skateboard. <laughs> that goes slowly, though. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, we have to talk about the school project. Whatever, nerd. <laughs> I don't. Listen, I am getting extra credit to help you. So take your surfer ass attitude. <laughs> bring it over here. Still coasting very slowly. <laughs> I will walk alongside you. I like. And I, I'm jumping and, like, running along the railing next to them with my arms behind me. <laughs> is he actually doing that, or does he think he's doing that? No, totally doing it. He's that guy that jumps on rails and tries to walk on them, you know. Did you guys leave the classroom, or are you, are you still... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're outside. No, this is in the classroom. Kenny, I, th I think Kenny shreds. <laughs> As you guys leave the classroom, uh, uh, walking down the hall because class has just ended, comes Marky Mark. Mike, tell us a little bit about Marky Mark. You always meet your friend Dax after school. Hey, hey guys, my name is Mark Mark Wall. Um, it's a really normal name. I don't know it, but I'm here uh, to hang out with my best friend and the whole Dax uh, Shepard. Uh, what's your last <laughs> nope. name? I can't remember. McMillan. <laughs> Dax McMillan. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, I just you know we're just. We're just we're just best friends. He's the only person that I know who's not Mormon dad. So well, he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. <laughs> and just to let everybody know, uh, the reason why Marky shows up after everyone else leaves class is because Marky is a homeschooled kid. I had friends in L.A. <laughs> you don't now. So... <laughs> yeah, you don't now. You don't now. Yeah. Fuck whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Nearest. <laughs> Like, watch me do the sick kickflip to a face plant. <laughs> <laughs> to, a, to a face plant. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Terrible. Stupid idiot, idiot, your truck doesn't even have a, a door. I got <laughs> one of these. I got idiot. a shiner here from my uh, in, in, inverted 340 uh, face plant in Nosco. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, stupid. <laughs> I, I, my hatred for you aside, we have the early bird gets the best project, and gets all the A's. So we gotta figure gets out. All, yeah, gets all the A's. All the A's. He gets all the A's because yeah. he's homeschooled. But we have to compete. <laughs> Teachers don't just have unlimited A's. Set number up, and we're gonna get it. I yeah, I, I totally need one because I get money on my allowance based on my grades and if i want to get that really cool vampire hunter d limited edition vhs with the playing cards at fat man's comics i gotta get an a yeah it sounds like the school system in michigan is really <laughs> fucked up <laughs> <laughs> and my parents yeah, that number of a's that you get <laughs> that's just augie augie saying augie doggy shit all right. Uh, I don't. So, uh, just so you guys know, I don't always get it. Okay. Sometimes I get B's, which are, means that I'm a beautiful boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, only get it. <laughs> All right. So we have we do a play. It's bullshit. We can do a video. That's kickass. Those are the options she gave. What do you guys think? Let's get a video of me doing a, a sick kick. No. Clip. Nope. <laughs> Do you know anything in this video? Fun? I learned all of the all the ninja signs for multiplication oh, jutsu. Ha ha ramp hop. We'll put okay. that in the video. 
That sounds <laughs> most pretty kick ass, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. As you guys and, are uh, uh as you guys are all talking, Mrs. O'Neill uh is packing up her, her room and she walks out of the classroom and she's like, Oh, you're you're all still here. Um did do you you know what your assignment is, right? It's due Monday. Yeah, we're just hammering out the details. <laughs> all right, well, what? I didn't know five minutes after school was going to make or break this project. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a very punctual person. I went to Miskatonic U, okay? Um, but uh, uh, what do you know about Lawrence Coswell? Uh, oh, nope. <laughs> 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 All right, well. That's what I know. You can it's try. just Augie saying some Augie Doggy shit. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, you could try the school library for starters, but yeah, have fun with it, kids. And she just walks down the hall. Mm. <laughs> Whatever. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys' mom is hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk off towards the library. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna do a dive roll like into a somersault and then like but I get a little too close to the door and kinda like bump into it, work my way up and open up the door. <laughs> that looks super lame near and I'm gonna like coast like a normal skate thing and then just <laughs> <laughs> I'm really confused by all your weird forms of travel, so I just get down and start crawling to the library. <laughs> no, don't don't jump to their level, Marky. <laughs> Don't jump to their level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Public school kids do. You all die on your way to the library. <laughs> Alrighty, so you go to the school library? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so you get into the school library, there's a librarian. Uh, he looks like a college student that's just sitting at the desk. He's got his legs kicked up. Uh, he gives an air of, I'm doing this for uh, college credits and nothing more about him. Um, but he's sitting at the, at, at the desk and he goes, Hey, sup, bros? <laughs> You guys want some knowledge? This guy sounds like he shreds. <laughs> Hell yeah, little man! And he goes to give you a, he, he just puts a hand out for a low five. <laughs> I like... I, <laughs> Does he have, like the wiggle fingers? Yeah, oh yeah. I, I don't notice it. Well, that's <laughs> <No>. fine. <laughs> what do you guys need? What do you bros need? We are studying a Lawrence Coswell. Every book you have on him. Alright, I have two books on him. That's good. <laughs> Let's get, well, I got, okay, wait, no, sorry, one of them's checked out. I got one book on him. <laughs> we'll take it. Alrighty, so. Uh, I I'll... present my pristine library card. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is that? this one. He shows that, I pull out my foiled Gyarados Pokemon card and I hold it out. Hell yeah. <laughs> I tried to do a kick that no <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, I will take the book over to one of the, uh, what are the tables in the library and read it for everyone? <laughs> Lawrence Coswell is the most adventurous local legend we have. This totally rad explorer. Hey, shut up! He's reading. I'm trying to do hands. <laughs> <in the library. laughs> this totally rad explorer was on expeditions around the globe as a chronicler. That means he wrote all the notes and drew cool sketches about the adventures he went on. Lawrence is most well known for being a part of the Harem Bingham Third. Part of Harem Bingham, that's a name, the third's expedition to discover Machu Picchu. He was also on a trip to discover the new land in Antarctica with Bat Bogswain. He climbed Cannibal Mountain with the famous Everett Breckenridge, the one from the movies. After a mysterious adventure in Australia caused him to seek mental health at the Den Denver State <laughs> Mental Institution in Salem, he got better, got married, lived happily ever after in Prosper Cove till he died in 1934. His manse, it's, not, it's a large house, not quite a mansion, but like a baby mansion, he built with his wife, and it still stands in the Red Heights woods. Most so noticeably, that's, like a, that's the whole book. Most a noticeably, baby so like a house, like a normal <laughs> fucking house. Most noticeably about this book, the name of the book is called Prosper Cove's Prosperous Figures for Kids. No. Well, well, that's all we got, guys. You know what he sounds like? He sounds like a total blurn, which is a word we use in Los Angeles. Yo, what does it mean? <laughs> Words mean things, Augie. Where so, are we? This is, <laughs> this, is, this is just Augie saying some Augie doggy shit. 
<laughs> so uh, as you read it out loud, the the librarian at the back of the uh, at the desk because he can hear you across the library. It's a very tiny public school library, so it's like you know one room. Um, he sits at the desk and he just kind of laughs to himself a little bit and shakes his head like this. What Please the fuck are you laughing at, man? bro? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you don't even go here. You shut up. <laughs> but... We leave Marky out of this. <laughs> All right, yeah, that was totally Thank cool of me. I'm sorry, but uh, you know they don't. This is a, it's a school library, you know. They don't teach you the bad stuff that happened in history in a school library in a public school library for high schoolers. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. this guy's life was a bit more uh, involved than maybe that cool book told you about oh man did you look this up on like aol no i'm not that rich man what are you talking about no i'm just telling you i i you know i go to college and I, i'm a history major but like um uh if you want the real shit he like he, he, he takes his feet off the desk and he leans in you guys want you guys want the real knowledge Tell us real knowledge, truth? old man. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you anything. From the forbidden scrolls. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you anything because I believe in the pursuit of knowledge is just. But if you want real shit, go to the real library. This is just the school library. The only other thing okay. we have here about Lawrence Coswell is probably about his house. All right, I got two questions for you. One, what is a library? <laughs> and two. Uh, that's cool that you're going to college. I'm going to college too. I'm definitely going to get into college. Cool. <laughs> oh, college. <laughs> it's cool. What's cool. That? I respect you, man. Um, uh, actually, uh, we're going to do our first roll for this. Um, roll. Where's my thing? Uh, roll heart. And if you have charm, anything in charm, roll that too. I did not. You didn't pass? I did not pass. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll get it someday. But yeah, I think uh, if you go to the if you go to the public library, you're gonna get that good shit. You know what I'm talking about? Oh crap! Oh, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> good crap. The public library next to the Funko Land. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, no, Chris. No. Again. It's closed on Fridays. <laughs> Seems like bad business practices, but then again, maybe Michigan's a little more yeah, Friday's a weird than L.A., story. if you know what I'm saying. That's just me saying some doggy doggy shit. <laughs> I will pull out my real public library card. Ah, so Let's go. Was the other one a fake? No, it was my school library card. Oh. <laughs> okay. So right. you guys are going right. to the, uh... Let's nerd it over there. <laughs> going to the public library? Yeah. All right. Yes. Let's rock it off, space cowboys. <laughs> He's the coolest one here. <laughs> so you head to Samson Strong Books Public Library uh, as you enter. And we walk by the Youth Advisory Council. <laughs> <laughs> you, as you enter, it's like this big library. It's got like yellow lighting because it's uh, and and uh, it's been around for a while and everything like that. And as you enter, there's a, a older woman with uh, circular glasses who who looks like she really wants to help you out. And she's like, "Oh, oh, hey, honeys, I love kids. What are you, what are you looking for today? What is it that I can help you with?" I'm looking for some new friends, ma'am. No. Oh, we have plenty of friends. At the... <laughs> We're not friends. We're basically co-workers. Kind of. Co My old friends used to treat me like this too, man. <laughs> Well, what we is need... this little conglomerate of co-workers need tonight? Lawrence Coswell. We need real adult books. Oh, yeah. real adult, adult books, books about Lawrence can. Coswell, eh? Uh, and she uh, leads you down um, to uh, the youth section, and she gives you the exact same book. Hold on, guys. Let me handle this. this. I go up to her and I go, Illusionary Jutsu! Ha! What? <laughs> 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 Four men with beards, age forty-seven. Hey. So, uh, I want Delicious. you, I want you to uh, roll heart, and if you have anything in the lead, roll that uh, to Froggy. distract her. I have two sixes. Nice. Here. All right. Um, so, uh, she's completely enamored with your display, uh, which has her completely distracted from uh, all the rest of the kids being able to go around. Whoa! What'd you do with your hands right there? That was impressive. Oh, it goes like this. We go, sheep, ram, 
Okay, I'm gonna go to the computer and type in Lawrence Coswell. Alrighty, I want you. And I'm teaching her the hand symbols. I want. I'm teaching her. I want you to um. Section. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Dex, I want you to roll mind with investigate. I'm gonna gonna just step away for just a second. You guys still do this scene? I'll be like, what? You're you're in the skater section. Yeah. I'll say some some oggy doggy shit when I come back. (laughs) You're reading Tony Hawk's uh, Tony Hawk's biography. (laughs) You've already read it seven times. (laughs) Bam Bam DVD ever. They made a PlayStation One game. They might make a second one. I'm sorry, Ty. What did you say you got? I got got one success. Okay, so you passed. So you end up finding a book. Called nineteenth century nineteenth century expeditions. Yes, I'm over in the corner playing with one of those uh, 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 puzzles that they have in dentist office where you try to put the shade inside the right thing, <laughs> and I am not doing well. <laughs> it is just <laughs> kicking my ass. <laughs> I'll probably wait for. Well, I don't think Augie cares. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to be fair, I don't think Augie cares what we're doing. Uh, I will gesture for uh, for Kenny. And uh, mark you to meet me at a table. Yeah, because you now know the section where all of the books relating to this would be kept. So, like, you don't need the librarian to show you anymore. Um, yeah. And she's been sufficiently distracted, so she's moving on to help another group of kids. Because a lot of kids are actually showing up to learn about uh, what what their historical figure is and how to uh, how to do the project. Man, these are some uh, some very eager <laughs> sophomores. <laughs> I didn't, I, I didn't say every problem. kid. I just said some of them are. There's like maybe three groups that are really into this. <laughs> Out of the ten that are in there. That are just going to wing it on Monday. Uh, I, called, I called the two of them. Augie, I don't know where he, I don't know if he's skateboarding. But I will call the others to a table to read I'm this. I'm reading this book. stories about great minds. <laughs> okay. Uh, I climb on top of one of the bookshelves and I kind of lay with my head hanging over it. <laughs> I will. I will put on my reading glasses. All right, Lawrence. What Coswell. the hell are those, old man? He's reading. There's nothing. He's <laughs> about good eyesight. I've never seen those before. I'm gonna kick kick your ass. Bro. You don't wear those blur and shit, in L.A. I- I knew Augie in high school. Can we all say that? <laughs> I knew Augie. That we all knew an Augie. It wasn't Augie. 1890. Lawrence Coswell is part of an expedition that le- uh, to Antarctica, discovering new land on the continent. Expedition leader, Bat Bog Swan. 1894. Lawrence Coswell is part of an expedition team to Tibet, climbing Cannibal Mountain. Expedition leader, Everett Breckenridge. Trip goes poorly. Cameraman was eaten. 1900. Lawrence Wait. Coswell. That wasn't that Wink. <laughs> that was Schmitty. <laughs> Remember Schmitty got eaten on Cannibal Mountain? I about that poor man. Just eat. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I saw you freak out for a second. Eating. Not Wink. That was Schmitty. <laughs> uh, 1900. Lawrence Coswell is part of the expedition team to research cave life in the Himalayas. Expedition leader Ursula Down. 1911. Part of an expedition to discover Machu Picchu. Led by Hearing Bingham the Third, 1924. Lawrence Coswell is part of the expeditions to uh, Australia's outback. It is here, combined with a strain of traumatic events from previous expeditions, where he witnessed something to cause him to decide to seek mental help at Danvers State Mental Institution. Although it was, although what it is is never known. I know and what I, it was. I know what, what is, it was. I don't even what. He's, what Augie? He's, he saw. He saw somebody do. A 480. See, I knew it was gonna be bullshit. <laughs> I knew it. I, I gave you a chance. Should have known. Burning car. Wait, the last wait, hold time. On one second. Wait, wait. C- can you repeat that one? Just. I, I'm writing it all down on my arm in pen. <laughs> it's, it's a 480 burning squirrel over a burning. 1924. <laughs> he managed to escape a localized earthquake at Danvers State Mental Institution in Salem, Massachusetts. With the help of his nephew, Sebastian Goodsir. Lawrence was hospitalized with major injuries, but managed to recover with time. Sebastian Goodsir's biography about his uncle, The Demented Days of Danvers, seems to paint a largely fictional tale about what happened on the night, and has since been labeled as non fiction. 1926, he married Marcy Fitzgerald. Together, they built the Coswell Manse in Prosper Cove, Michigan, 
and lived a mostly solitary life. In 1934, he left retirement and joined an expedition to the Amazon, led by Arthur Corn Cornthwaite. That's a stupid name. Cornthwaite. <laughs> I agree, man. It sounds blurry. <laughs> it goes horribly, although records don't say how. And some of the expedition crew died. He later returned home, affected by his trip, and he murdered his wife and himself. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded blurry to me. I thought it was, you and know. Then Sebastian that's, wrote, wait, "That's some Evangelion level shit." There. What was that? <laughs> he killed his wife and himself, and then his. In that order, or out. like a different order? I think it's that. Well, chronologically, that's what it says. <laughs> and then Sebastian. You sure he didn't kill himself and then his wife? That's. I don't think so, Augie. Okay. Sebastian Goodsir then Whatever. wrote his novel about his uncle in <laughs> memoriam, and that's the whole book. That part's gonna look so cool in our movie. You know guys. what I heard? You know what I heard? Everybody's on the same quest as I. Everybody wants to see that 480 burning squirrel over a burning car. <laughs> no, guys, this I, I see burning cool squirrel in our over movie. So, like, he can kill his wife and himself. I have a ninja sword at home, and we can Ooh. use that. I got it in Chinatown. And it just looks so cool. It's, oh, really, like, wife. it's not real, but like enough blood. Yeah. I know how you to can... get blood. <laughs> I think yeah. We, we, we make a movie. You play the guy. You play the wife, so you guys can both die. It sounds pretty fucking cool to me, man. That's just me. Okay, I, I want to be. I want to be head of casting. <laughs> I thought. It, Kind of sounds like it's already been cast, bro. <laughs> you can be. You can it was be. Cast the day I was born, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be. Uh, I want to be D P. No, I want to be Steven Spielberg, director of penises. I know. I'm the director of penises myself, buddy. <laughs>